Hi everybody, it's Lisa Murray here, living the sweet life, and we're working on our Advent tree for the Jesse tree, and we are working on our day 16, and we're going to put on the stones for Elijah, and so I'm going to lay this ornament into our tree. Let's see, we're running out of space, guys. Let's put it right there. And as always, you'll have in the episode information below all the information that you need to get these Jesse Tree ornaments too if you don't want to make them yourselves. I'm very impressed with these. These uh, ladies have really done a wonderful job and I've got links in all of the episodes. So if you guys are interested, you'll be able to find them and get them for your family. So day 16, we have our reading today is going to be coming from uh, 1 Kings 18, 21 through 39. And it's all about Elijah and he was a prophet and a lot of people that were around him were f worshiping a false god named Baal. And he was asked by God to go and do a sacrifice. And he put water and he put stones there and it wouldn't catch on fire because the people were not worshiping the correct God. And whenever Elijah prayed, then the sacrif sacrificial altar caught on fire and the people realized that they were uh, in the wrong and they started to listen to the prophet. So Elijah is um, our day today. So here's the readings. Elijah came near to all the people and said, How long will you waver between the two sides? If Yahweh the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. The people didn't say a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I, even I only, am left as a prophet of Yahweh. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Let them therefore give us two bulls and let them choose one bull for themselves and cut it into pieces and lay it on the wood and put no fire under, and then I will dress the other bull and lay it out on the wood and put no fire under it. You call on the name of your God, and I will call on Yahweh. The God who answers by fire will let him be God. All the people answered, What you say is good. Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, Choose one bull for yourselves and dress it first, for you are many, and call on the name of your God, but no fire under it. The, they took the bull which was given to them, and they dressed it, and called on the name of Baal from morning, evening, until noon, saying, Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, and nobody answered. They leapt about the altar which was made. At noon, Elijah mocked them and said, Cry out loud, for he is a god. Either he is deep in thought, or he has gone somewhere, or he is on a journey, or perhaps he sleeps and must be awakened. They cried aloud and cut themselves in their way with knives and lances until the blood gushed out on them. When midday was passed, they prophesied that until the time of the evening offering, but there was no voice, no answer, and nobody paid any attention. Elijah said to all the people, Come near to me, and all the people came near to him. He repaired the altar of Yahweh that had been thrown down. Elijah took twelve stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom Yahweh's words came, saying, Israel shall be your name. With the stones he built an altar in Yahweh's name. He made a trench around the altar large enough to contain two says of seed, and he put the wood in order and cut the bull in pieces and laid it out on the wood. He said, Fill your four jars with water and pour it on the burnt offering and on the wood. He said, Do it a second time, and they did it. And in the second time, he said, Do it a third time, and they did it the third time. The water ran around the altar, and he also filled the trench with water. At the time of the evening offering, Elijah the prophet came near and said, Yahweh, the God of Abraham, of, I of Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known today that you are God in Israel, and that I am your servant, and that I have done all these things at your word. Hear me, Yahweh, hear me, that these people may know that you, Yahweh, are God, and that you have turned their heart back again. Then Yahweh's fire fell and consumed the burnt offering, the wood, the stones, and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. When all the people saw it, they fell on their faces. They said, Yahweh, he is God. Yahweh, he is God. So again, that is from 1 Kings 18, 21 through 39. And our prayer that's on our beautiful ornament today for the stones and Elijah is, Elijah had great faith in your provisions. Please let us have great faith in your promises. And so that's a wonderful place to be right now as we are almost sitting in the dead center of our Advent season. I hope you guys are finding value in this. I hope you're enjoying it with the children as well. Please do me a favor and like and share. Don't forget to ring the bell, and I'll see you guys tomorrow on the channel. Take care.